students nowadays we are going through the unit plant and shade we all have gone through the chapter the boss and the bill it's a story written by albert lemoris it's a story about a boy and a bill he got from a tree can we have a chain reading from this chapter yes so here the seventh standard students are going to present a chain reading for you all let's evaluate the presentation come let's go through it Years is seen walking. There is a dog on pavement. The boy bends down and pets the dog. He then goes down a flight of steps and disappears from the view. Now the person is coming down the long flight of steps. Something catches his attention and he looks up. He stopped by a lamp post. Looks up again. looks to the right and the left to make sure there is nobody around he puts down the bag and quickly climbs the post on the top of the post caught in the rock that holds the lamp is a big balloon the boy flies it holding the string of the balloon between his teeth and the bag in his right hand he walks down the steps The boy walks along the footpath of a busy street with the balloon string in his left hand and the bag in his right. An old woman turns to look at him amused. The boy stands amidst a group of people waiting for us. When the bus comes, the passengers go to the small door at the rear and the boy tries to get in with them. But the conductor points to the balloon in the boy's hand and prevents him from getting into the bus. The boy is disappointed. the best moving away as the balloon on the string swings like a pendulum in a sand how he breaks into a run holding the balloon in his right hand and the bag in his left two bell strings turn to look at him the ball runs along the pavement and stops before a thick polish door on the street he knocks at the door and then waits for a corner bell on the wall when the door opens he goes in the sign board says it is a public school for boys A man is seen sweeping the yard, holding the balloon by the string. The boy walks up to him. The boy, could you hold my balloon? The sweeper obligingly takes the balloon and holds it. The boy, please don't let it go. He starts running towards his classroom. A teacher appears at the window on the upper floor of the building. He looks at the boy and the sweeper and throws down something in his notebook. The boy runs towards the classroom. He pushes open the door and he goes in. A woman holding an open umbrella is seen waiting before the school door. The door opens and children rush out. One of the boys takes her hands and they walk away. The boy with the balloon comes out after a few moments and runs into the street. It's busy. The boy does not want the balloon to get wet. He sees an old man with an open umbrella held above his head. The boy runs after him and talks to him. The man allows the boy to share his umbrella. The umbrella is too small to shelter the three of them. So the boy moves out of the shade of the umbrella and holds the balloon under it. Now the boy gets wet, but the balloon is hidden. They walk on till the old man reaches his destination. He goes in through an open door. The boy looks to the left and the right in search of someone else with an umbrella. Still the boy sees running after a woman who has an umbrella with her. He reaches her, holds the balloon under her umbrella, and walks with her. Then the boy walks up to two nuns with umbrellas. One of them allows him to hold the balloon under her umbrella. 
After that, the boy is seen walking with the man across a bridge, holding the balloon under the man's umbrella. Next, the boy watches as a group of mounted soldiers pass by. The last soldier in the group turns to look at the boy, amused. He stands by the side wall of an overbridge and watches a train passing under it. The boy then runs away and disappears. The boy reaches home. His mother is seen watching him from behind the glass pane of a French window above. She shakes her head in disapproval, draws the curtain and disappears. After something, she opens the window, closes the curtain and closes the window. The balloon bobs up and down but does not go away. It hovers through the window of the boy's home. The boy looks through the glass panes of the window at the balloon. He opens the window, walks out in the balcony and grabs the string of the balloon. Then he goes and lifts it and closes the window. The next morning, a shopkeeper opening the shutters of his shop, a postman delivering mail to a woman on a balcony, and a hawker selling his wares in the street are seen. A row of cars is seen parked on the street. The boy opens the window of his house and releases the balloon into the air. The boy, balloon, you must obey me and be good. He points his finger at the balloon in a warning gesture and closes the window. The boy comes out. He is on his way to school. He looks up at the balloon. Hovering above. The boy. Balloon, balloon, come down. The balloon floats down to the boy gently. When the boy raises his hand to catch hold of the string, the balloon playfully awaits him. He finally leaves the balloon and starts walking along the pavement. The balloon follows him, always keeping itself out of the boy's reach. The boy comes down a flight of steps. There is a black dog at the bottom of the stairs which starts barking as it sees the balloon fall on the boy. The dog leaps up and tries to catch it. The balloon just manages to escape. How was the presentation? Did you like it? Of course you liked it. Did you all notice the expression in their face? The tone difference? The style of speaking etc? Hope you all enjoyed our chain reading. Thank you.